Hey guys, you guessed it. It's uh, Thursday and I'm uh, gonna do my stairs workout. I'm here uh, near the National Alpine skiing jump area thing, whatever you wanna call it. So the video you're about to watch, Alp is gonna show you some uh, tips and tricks related to Markdown for Notion. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. This is just a car and uh, please let Alp know in the description, no, in the, please let Alp know in the comments that we appreciate him making the video. We're all doing this on a volunteer basis. So special thanks out, really appreciate it. And these guys, you know, hit the like button, smash, smash the like button and then subscribe, hit the bell icon too, thanks. Hey everyone, in this video, we're not going to be focusing on Notion to Anki, but on Notion. If you want to use Notion to Anki effectively, you have to be good at using Notion and Anki, ideally. You don't have to, but it makes your life easier if you can use these softwares um, fast and in an effective way, basically. And we wanted to make videos teaching you how you can use Notion and Anki. And with this video, we start a series on Notion. We'll cover Notion shortcuts, Notion markdown style and Notion commands. But this video is about Notion markdown style because it makes styling your text and styling your page in general very easy and fast. Enough talking and let's get started with bold text. This is, you can use two asterisks before and after your phrase to make it bold. This is bold. This is what I mean. Have you seen that? And you can do the same thing for italic texts, but this time you will use only one asterisk and you will have, you will create italics. The, this is italic, as you can see. You can also type strike through texts by using a t this is by using tildes before and after the text. Strike through. This is as easy as that. You can also create inline code. This is in line. I don't know how the sign is called, but it's on the left side of one key if you are using a US layout keyboard. Inline code, yeah. You can type in three, three hyphens one after another for creating a divider. One, two, three, and we have a divider there. And now, we will talk about the block styling in Notion. There are different kinds of things you can do also with Markdown. You can type in asterisk a plus sign or a minus sign or hyphen for creating um, a bullet list. So, bullet. You can type in one and period and hit spacebar for creating a numbered list, but there is something tricky about numbered lists. Um, if you somehow get out of the numbered list and you want to continue, you can just type in one period and spacebar, and this won't create a, create a numbered list. You have to type in the correct number, so this is how you do that. Numbered list. Um, you can create toggle lists as well using Markdown. Just type in closing angle bracket and hit spacebar and you have a toggle. You can create checkboxes. Just type in opening and closing brackets and they automatically turn into a checkbox. Checkbox. You can check it or uncheck it and you can see how it is activated. You can create headings with this. One hashtag sign for H1. Heading one, two hashtag signs for heading two, and three hashtag signs for heading three. You can also create quote blocks using Markdown. Just type a quotation mark and hit spacebar, and whatever you type in, whatever you type in, becomes 
a quote. So, thanks for watching. This was the first video. Stick around for the other videos about Notion and Anki and Notion to Anki. Thanks for watching. Bye.